In this video, we'll be using the pen tool to turn our sketch into vector art. We'll start out with a sketch that we made, and remember, if your illustration needs additional details, then the sketching stage is when you should add it. It's easier to add detail in this stage rather than the vector stage. Once you have a tight sketch, scan your composition into the computer. Your drawing should be scanned at 300 dpi or higher because you will need to zoom closely to the image while you vectorize it. So we'll open a new file and I'm going to make it 600 by 600 pixels. I'm going to place my sketch that I have scanned into Illustrator. And to do that, I'll go to File and Place, choose my file and click Place. So we'll start out with a sketch and we'll use the pen tool to manually trace the shapes and curves of our sketch. First, we'll create a new layer and lock the layer with the sketch. This way, our sketch won't move around and we can easily trace over it without worrying. So let's get started. Select the pen tool from your tools panel. We would want there to be no fill and we're going to make the stroke black and the stroke weight to be two points. You can change the weight and color later on as well. We're going to create our first anchor points over here and then select our second anchor point. As you can see right now, we have a straight line, but we want to make it into a curve to match our sketch. So I'm going to undo that last step and I'm going to click on my second point again, but rather than letting go, I'm going to drag to create the control handles. These handles control the shape of your curve. Before making your third anchor point, you need to click on the current point to remove the handles and create a corner point rather than a smooth point. Now, if you made a mistake on one of your curves, don't worry. What you can do is select the direct selection tool, click on the anchor point you want to fix, and then the control handles will appear. You can then adjust your curve by changing the direction and magnitude of the handles. Again, before moving on, remember to remove the handles because not all our points will be smooth and flowing. For example, for my fifth anchor point, if I fail to remove the handles on this previous one, creating a new segment will be impossible. So again, I'm going to undo and this time, I will remove the control handle by clicking on the point and then create my next segment. For now, we'll just repeat the step. Click and drag and then click on the anchor point to remove the handles. I'm going to do this for the rest of the sketch. After you've completed all the segments, you should see a little circle next to your pen. This indicates that you've returned to your first point and the path will close. 